Hey there, Goblin here, and today I'm going to show you what I've been working on on uh, my game. Use a little prototype. I know that many people prototype with squares and stuff, but I do like to see animations and a little bit of an idea how the game looks when everything is moving correctly. Uh, for now, I have just the basic stuff. So I have some levels, I have some waves and shooting mechanics and a couple of bosses. There's no shop, there's no items in yet and the levels do not transfer between the waves yet. I still have to code that in. But when the wave ends, you continue to the another level. Like here, it would be a shop, a nice scene with a shop, uh, item shop, uh, some uh, health shop and a blacksmith, which you will have to choose what uh, you will spend your hard earned uh, coins or money on. But now in the second wave, you can see that uh, the spawning rate is much faster and there will also be new enemies. There we go, there's some spiders and some little demons. Uh, of course, this isn't the graphics that will be in the game. Uh, the game story will remain a secret, but it's extremely fun. So that was the third wave and after the third wave we have a little bit of a surprise. And now they're spawning much faster, of course. It's a kind of a mix between Brotato and Enter the Gungeon because I would like that wave 20 when you know the game is finished will always be a boss fight not just a wave but uh, a full on boss fight that you will finish and you will get an achievement for it of course and uh, you will be able to build your character in numerous ways with items with uh, different level up options than now, now I have just four, uh, and um, you know, you will build to make a boss killer yourself. So this is Jimmy, the stone master, that's uh, the boss I made for now. It's, uh, it's a gargoyle, so he's quite resilient because he's made of stone. And the second boss that you will see shortly is not as resilient. Now, he spawn a little slime which will focus uh, just on you so it's good for you to maybe kill it before it gets to its position uh, but you do get a health portion from it heal for 10 points and then he spawns the stones because he is a stone master so it would be weird for him not to have any stones thrown at you his uh, green bullet stops you in your tracks so his stones can hit you a little bit easier. I will try to get hit on purpose. There you go. Uh, it stops you between one and three seconds. So it's kind of RNG, but Jimmy isn't really a hard boss. Very easy to stop him. So here I'm stopped and now he will soon die. Yeah, he's done. I have the second boss with a little bit of different mechanics in just to see how the uh, gameplay flows for now and what I have to improve on so these are the slime shadies they disappear quite quickly but their bullets if they hit you your fire rate goes down quite a lot now if you would have level ups and your fire rate would be uh, you know leveled up to max that wouldn't really affect you but here it does and here's Slimefort and Sons he starts alone and he will steal the health portion that spawn uh, continuously through this stage he will steal them so you will have to prevent him from healing so it's, it's better that you steal them and you heal up but he will go for them and at certain health points he will spawn his sons this one's blue he also spawns red ones and you have to be a little bit more on him he's not as resilient as the gargoyle as you can see he receives much more damage i have two guns by the way here which is something i tested you will be able to wield multiple weapons at once just like in brotato maybe not six but about four uh, if he heals up to the certain point he will appear once again his sons will appear more so if you don't if you're not careful you will get overwhelmed by them and that happened to me while testing a couple of times, even though I designed it. But it's good to... After his son kind of appears, it's good to just 
focus on the dude a little bit more because when no one is on just him he's really really easy to deal with he will not attack you he has just one pattern with his bullets and he will actually try to avoid you and go to the health potions but if you're not careful and he heals up there will be much much more suns uh, who actually slow you down if they touch you so you really have to be careful about that but as you can see now he's not doing anything so that's his weakness these guys will stop and then charge at you but they're not so uh... so the red ones are actually worse than the blue ones the blue ones will see he hit me here so I'm slowed down now there's two of them and now they're slowing me down all the time but I think I will manage yeah that's it uh, I don't think he spawns any new ones here oh he does oh I let him heal too much <laughs> so there's there's one more but uh, if there's just one more and I'm on half a health I'll be fine I think but yeah this is what I've been working on uh, so the prototype is ready uh, the development goes quite nicely it is hard it's not easy but <laughs> yeah uh, if you like the video like subscribe share uh, share your thoughts on the game what you would improve of course the transitions and stuff like that will be uh, improved there will be more polish too so until next time be good to yourself be good to others goblin out <laughs>